Up until children's church at Divine, up until Pathfinder features in the afternoon, all the time you are working with children. So there is numerous opportunities to work with children. Second, just because I don't know, maybe it's our own disadvantage, Uncle Joe. Maybe we must change our policies. Maybe. But because we work on a voluntary basis for everything. Yeah. We don't know who's volunteering. Anybody can volunteer. As long as you pretend, brother, who to show a spirit that's kind and loving. Mm -hmm. Who say, no, brother, we've been, you are God said we have been paying for three weeks for a director. There is brother Will. The man with the qualities, he can match, he can teach the owners. Little do we know that way he's coming from. He has already abused kids. Yeah. No. So the skill with people that abuse children is that they, they perfect their art of catching children. So they're very kind, they're very cunning. That when you see them, they are very presentable as an honest and reliable person. I want you to turn to the person next to you. Turn to the person next to you. Turn to them. Face them. Look at them. Look at them and say, you are a potential abuser. You are a potential abuser. Anybody, anybody is a potential abuser. So when it comes to children, I can never trust Sister Boy. I can never. When it comes to children, I don't trust you, neither should you trust me. Advocate Tim Clara will tell us she, she works for the prosecution. She can tell you how many statistics of children that has been abused by uncles. Yeah. 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 Let me give you an opportunity. Yeah. Maybe I'm making this thing sound. Yeah. 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 Don't trust anyone when it comes to your child. 
do not send your kids, especially, okay, let me send your special kids. Even boys, we are having a problem of uh, lesbian and gays. They groom them. These men are sick. We know most students in Roma, no, with the popes, training these young boys, and then they were grooming them. It's here also in our church. Do not send your child to Adi so and so unless you don't know what is happening there. Number two, stop being cruel parents and stop being very strict with your kids. Be open with your child. Because if ever you are not that strict with your child, your baby girl or your baby boy won't, be, won't have a problem to tell you what other so and so did to him. Tell him or her into detail. He must not touch you here. He must not touch you here. He must not touch you here. So that that child, when he or she comes to you, will be able to help. Because us parents will become very strict with our kids and we don't even notice the young behavior. They change the behavior completely. And then they don't want to play with other kids. And then you think that everything is fine. You just buy them gadgets. You think that everything is fine or you find that the child is, is dying. So when it comes to sexual assault in South Africa, the statistics is growing each and every day. There's a child that is being raped at this moment. You can be here at church, you don't know what your child is doing, or to find that someone is raping that child outside as you speak. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Maybe let's, let's give the social services also to where they do the Good afternoon, uh, Master Kai. Oh, well, I'm also not prepared for this, but these things do happen. Sometimes it's the teachers at school who get the report from the child. Sometimes it's us, master guys, in our classes. The children come to us and they report things. And because it's a church, it becomes a bit uh, complicated because now you have to go to this, to that, to report this. Maybe you can give us a directive as to who to go to when this happens in our churches. Yes. All right, good. Let's quickly rush through and then we can, we can, we can go through. Man, I, I've seen your hands. Let me just go through a few slides. Right, let's do risk management in the club, eh? Right? Risk management in the club. Six months rule applied to all volunteers. I think we we touched about this in the morning, right? Six months, you are just sitting. Whether you want to be a counselor, you want to be a staff, you want to be a cook, you want to be a nurse, you want to help, you want to do anything. When you join a new place, when it's a new person, they must be on the bench for six months. Okay? Six months. There's no shortcuts on the bench. Six months. So it's a transfer. If you if you transfer from one to else, you wait for six months. If you transfer from the TOC, if you come from the gate conference, you wait for six months. You come from one district to another district, you wait for six months. Now I need to 
finish one and you just give me until about 10 minutes and then ten and ten and I can close please. Alright, alright guys, just give me 10 minutes so we can close, okay? Okay. Please. No questions. Yes. Can you just keep out the information? Right guys, come together. Alright. Right. What are we doing in the six months when you are waiting? We are asking you all kinds of questions. Why do you want to work with the kids? Where do you come from? Why the interest in the children? Why did you leave your church? Give us a reference. Where were you fellowship? We are interviewing you. And in that six months, we are giving you an opportunity to bring us the police clearance. Okay? So in that six months, we are asking you all kinds of questions so that we can ascertain if you're a fit person to, to wear. They must, this is in the church manual, eh? Hey? There must be always two adults in a class, okay? For every activity, there must be two adults, and there must be screening, like I have said. Right? Now, let me talk about this. Individuals who are convicted of sexual offenses should not be allowed to work with children. Right? Individuals who are convicted of sexual offenses, the Lord will forgive you and you will not. Okay? If you are convicted of sexual offenses, it's your story with God. We just don't want you in our hands. No matter how rebellious you are, if you have been convicted of a sexual offense, God will give you life, God will give you start of school, God will give you family. We don't want you near the children. Okay? Individuals who have been convicted of sexual offense. Okay. Last week we received a call of highest and quality in this A simple game was played with the four finals. You know that the put here I got a simple game was played and then the child accused the counselor of sexual harassment. Or um, sex, yeah, sexual assault. So that something like that is not going on. The APO, APO people is not investing this. How they going to make a case? We were on higher level to find out that she collected the same day um, the director, and um, we we don't know how far that case is. And it's a simple game. You know how we play. So be careful what kind of games you play. And who is looking at like this play certain games? Because the children can turn it out and it brings you. Thank you, Antimola. Now let's finish. Within our 10 minutes, I have identified that. Risk management while this is a problem. Okay? Make sure that all the vehicles that you're using are licensed in your way. Okay, don't travel with the vehicle that's not licensed. You become liable. Okay. Make sure all the drivers have got the driver's license. Parents should sign the indemnity form and all travel plans.